Hello everyone. In this uh, video lecture, we will understand the different components of compensation packages like incentives and uh, the retirement plans. Um, so let's start with the video lecture. Uh, first, we will study the incentive plans. Uh, so with more and more uh, players entering the market and there must be a high attrition rate. So it is a challenge for the organization to retain their talented human resource. So the organization should follow the systematic process to formulate the incentive plans. So uh, let's study uh, what is incentive. Uh, so anything that can attract the employee's attention and motivate them to work uh, may be called as an incentive. And incentive aims at improving the overall performance of organization. So incentive can be classified as a direct or indirect compensation and they can be prepared as an individual plan, group plan or organizational plan. So the few definitions given <coughs> are mentioned here the first definition according to the milton l rock that uh, incentives are defined as a variable reward uh, granted according to the variation in the achievement of a specific result now the second definition is a kn subramaniam uh, so incentive is a system of payment emphasizing the payment of a point of motivation that is imparting the incentive to the worker for higher production or productivity so these are the two definitions now the next uh, is the types of incentives uh, types of incentive plans uh, so there are the four types of incentive plans uh, that is first is base uh, rate system so the base rate systems are the straightforward but may not provide the incentives to the individual worker under the basic uh, basic rate uh, system a uh, worker is paid in uh, relation to the given period of a time uh, like hourly rate, weekly rate, annual salary and generally this rate is established for all the workers in uh, one category. Now the next uh, incentive plan is the incentive scheme for individuals. This is second one. Uh, so the individual payment scheme include the payment uh, by results, uh, piece work and bonuses, uh, work measurement and also the appraisal or the performance related pay and other individual type of schemes include the market based pay which may uh, link uh, uh, pay to what is available outside the organization and the competencies and skill based pay uh, which offers the opportunity for the higher reward based on the acquisition and utilization of the additional skills and competencies. So many sector of employment use the pay system that contain the direct link to the individual performance and results. So uh, this individual basic play, uh, pays uh, examples of this individual incentive, incentive plans are uh, like uh, individual uh, payment by results, a piece work bonus scheme or a home works, uh, workers and work related schemes uh, measure day work appraisal performance related pay, market based pay and competency and skill based pay. Uh, next uh, uh, payment method is the uh, incentive scheme for uh, groups. Uh, so incentive scheme for the group or a team uh, that is known as the team based pay. Uh, so the group uh, pay scheme generally includes uh, those based on performance of the team, plant or the company. Uh, it may also include the gain sharing uh, which is a form of added value scheme uh, which is a form of added uh, uh, so which is the form of the added value scheme uh, which links the pay to the achievement of the organization goals uh, so share incentive plans includes the provision of uh, shares to the employees and either by giving them the direct or allowing them to be uh, purchased and can be related to the performance uh, so some organization utilizes the pay system based on the performance of the team or the group and sometimes it may be uh, performance of the whole plant or enterprise that is uh, trigger for the performance element of the pay. Now the fourth type of uh, incentive plan is the company based pay or uh, the in, uh, company based pay incentive plans. Uh, so the plant or a company based performance pay schemes are based on larger group than the team uh, like a divisional plant or the whole organization. Uh, so they uh, may well um, use the same factor as the team based or the individual performance scheme or perhaps the total sale within the set period and comparative reductions in, in the labor cost. So under this the first one uh, under the company based is a gain sharing incentive plan. So the gain sharing is a form of the added value pay scheme uh, linking the workers pay to the achievement of organizational goal. <coughs> uh, 
by rewarding uh, rewarding the performance above a predet uh, predetermined target so this may be in the form of a share of a uh, share in the profit generated by the sales uh, or or on the measure of customer satisfaction uh, next is the scalen plan so this is the formula which measures the labor cost as a proportion of the total sales and set the standard ratio which will trigger the sum distribution of saving to a pre established formula now the third one is the executive incentives uh, now the organization offers the heavy incentives to the executives to uh, retain the talented workforce and uh, the uh, 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 competition immense competition in the market has forced the organization to offer the uh, competitive packages uh, so of uh, performance based uh, incentives uh, comes out to be the only solution for the demand supply disparity uh, um, so the executive incentives are the more effective in the market segment uh, next uh, topic that is the retirement plan uh, now the organization provides the uh, p- pension plans and other benefits for their employees uh, which uh, benefits them from, uh, from after they retire from the organization at the prescribed age so qualified uh, uh, retirement planning services provided by the employer to the employees and his spouse are not included in employees income uh, so this does not include the value of tax preparation accounting legal and the brokerage services provided by the employers so these items are taxable income to employees uh, next is uh, employee uh, plan contribution so employers contribution qualified retirement plan for the employees are not included in his income so generally speaking the contribution is uh, is a non qualified plan at uh, uh, our, uh, our taxable income uh, so some progressive uh, progressive employers have set the superannuation scheme for uh, employees and make the regular contribution but the large percentage of the private sector employees do not have such arrangement so the government has uh, finally set up the interim pension fund regulatory development authority that is of the pfrda in 2005 and uh, the draft uh, envision of uh, envisions the creation of the permanent retirement uh, permanent retirement account number for the plan members maintained by the central record keeping agency cra so pfrda will consider registering an entity as a pension fund regulator based on the prescribed requirements uh, and he, uh, and it will also appoint a manager through the bidding process so uh, this reforms eventually will percolate into the private sector and uh, this scheme may be open to the employees uh, to the employed superannuation fund to the investment as a investment vehicle next is about the voluntary retirement scheme that is vrs the voluntary retirement is a legally tenable and is an integral part of the public uh, policy so immediately after liberalization the government has created a special fund called the national renewal fund and allocated a, a nearly 90 percent of this fund to the voluntary retiree from the central public sector undertaking which are not commercially viable so the government services rules also provide for the voluntary retirement of civil servant as a part of a government policy to downsize the government so this is all about the retirement plan and incentive plans thank you so much